Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Harsh Mittal and today we are going to learn how you can create your own custom four wheel bot with camera and lidar in ROS. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off by cloning my project from GitHub. You can check out the link in the description. Now, once you're in the repo, uh, do catkin make. Then source the devil slash setup file. Finally, do ross launch atom world dot launch. This will open up the complete gazebo and RV setup. As you can see, uh, you can place any object in front of the bot and the same will be visible in your camera stream in Arvis along with the LiDAR values. Now let's look into the code. First go into the source folder, then the atom bot. Over here, let's go into the launch file first. open world.launch over here you can see first we have the robot pose that is all the xyz values along with the role pitch yaw next we need to include the robot description.launch file which we'll see in a minute then you need to enter the world file name and finally uh, launch the gazebo world over here as you can see the world file is given as an argument Then you need to spawn your robot using URDF spawner. Finally, uh, this is an optional step. If you want, you can also launch Arvis from the launch file itself. Now let's open uh, the empty world that we had just included. In the empty world, I've just added a simple ground plane, sun, and the world camera values now let's go into the urdf folder where you will see uh, atom.zacro file ok inside zacro file uh, as you can see I have first declared all the properties that I will be using that is uh, robot mass its length height uh, then the wheel height and finally the camera mass etc then uh, each component will be added as a link so the first link i have added is the chassis for which i have given initial pose then the inertial aspect uh, if you are not sure about it then uh, please do not change it uh, in the inertia, we also specify the inertia. Uh, to understand how exactly the inertia is calculated, I'll attach a link in the description below. So next you have the collision aspect. This will define the collision parameters for your bot in the gazebo simulated world. Next you have the visual aspect. So how your bot will be looking. Finally, in the similar fashion, we'll define for all the wheels as well. So first this is for right wheel uh, that is on back side, the inertial aspect, the visual aspect and the collision aspect. In a similar fashion, we will add for all the different wheels. Then we need to add the camera. The camera you can see uh, the visual aspect is again a box and finally we will be adding a LiDAR. In the LiDAR uh, the initial aspects are shown. One thing to notice is in the visual aspect. So in the visual as you can see I have given mesh as an input. 
finally uh, for the collision I've just simply given box instead of the mesh you uh, you also need to project the center to the ground for that uh, robot underscore footprint is added then you need to define all the different joints so the first one would be the right wheel joint that is on your back the type will be continuous you need to specify the correct location uh, and orientation for your joint make sure uh, your parent and child link is correct that you have specified above similarly we'll add joints for all the different components the difference between them and the camera joint and hockey joint is uh, that the joint type will be fixed now we'll also add a link between the robot footprint and the main chassis that we had just created if you want you can add color to your components as well finally to have all the different gazebo plugins i've added a atom.gazebo file in which all the plugins are defined as you can see the first plugin would be skid steer drive controller so if you have a four wheel pod then skid steer drive controller is used but if you have a two wheel pod then differential drive controller will be used in this you need to specify the update rate the robot namespaces to avoid any warnings that you might see in gazebo then you need to specify all the joints along with wheel separation wheel diameter and the robot base frame the torque value will be given according to the mass and the kind of force required then the topic name will be cmd underscore vel as you can see i have defined it multiple times uh, this was purely because uh, i was getting a lot of warnings in gazebo if you guys find out a way to avoid those warning then do let me know in the comments below we also need to broadcast our transform values and finally for this plugin the covariance values have been added next we move on to the camera plugin in the camera plugin you need to specify the update rate the horizontal fov along with the dimensions of your image and its format now this uh, these are the camera parameters if you want you can change them uh, according to your own custom camera that you want finally we'll also have the topic name for the lidar uh, i've used hokuyu plugin if you want to visualize everything on your gazebo like all the rays then set it to true over here to have the simulation close to the real world i have also added noise in the hokuyu lidar if you want then you can remove this as well finally the topic name uh, with this our zac profile is also created now if you launch everything uh, it will be running now in a new terminal you can install the teleop twist keyboard to control your bot do a simple ross run teleop twist keyboard and teleop twist keyboard.py with w value you can increase the velocity and with i you can move forward you can play around with this tool to control your bot as you see in fit just for demonstration i'm also adding some objects in front of it now if you see the rvs our lidar is able to detect the obstacles the cardboard is not visible because the lidar rays are actually not touching it
I hope you enjoyed this video on ROS for creating your own custom robot. Let me know in the comments down below what other videos I should make. Thanks for watching.